Welcome to this edition of Our Schools. This is a special edition. It celebrates 50 years of excellence at West Seneca West Senior High School. My name is Dolores Mendolia. I'm the school district clerk and director of public relations for our school district. The late 40s brought an exciting time to West Seneca. In 1946, voters had approved to centralize the school district. And in January of 1947, the voters of the new centralized school district approved a resolution to purchase a 37-acre farm commonly known as the Bolt Farm. This farm that once belonged to Charles and Mary Bolt was proposed to be the site for a new junior-senior high school. The building would serve a growing population of students from 7th through 12th grades. On September 14, 1948, the voters gave their approval to erect the building. And the architects were Fole and Martin. On May 25, 1949, bids for its erection, plus a garage, were received. And on June 10th of that year, at 2 p.m., ground was broken for the project. The ceremonies began with the parade of students, faculty, and friends. The band played and the assembled people sang the Star Spangled Banner. Board President Elmer Redmond said, this day is a very happy one for the Board of Education of West Seneca Central School. It finally makes a reality of five years of effort and planning to the children and young people of the town. The board's only hope is that when this building is completed, you will utilize it wisely and well. It will be one of the finest and the latest words in a modern school building we could provide. We are sure you will have reason to be proud of it. As he turned the first spade of dirt, he said, it is with great pride that I, on behalf of the board, officially start the new junior-senior high school. May the good Lord give us his blessing to this great and good undertaking. The band played in the new alma mater, written and composed by Mr. John Sura, was sung for the first time. The next ceremony for this house of learning was the laying of its cornerstone. The event took place at 2.30 p.m. on Sunday, November 20th, 1949, with Chairman Edward Adams officiating. The invocation was given by Reverend Herman Schultz, pastor of the Evangelical and Reformed Church. American Legion Post 735 presented the colors and the West Seneca Central School mixed chorus directed by Mr. Gordon Peck, saying, America the Beautiful. The guest speaker was Dr. Clyde Moore, professor of education at Cornell University. Student representatives Shirley Maul and James Groff presented the cornerstone box to board member Harold Dobstaff, who read its list of materials. The box was set inside the stone, and as the cornerstone was lowered into place, the West Seneca Central School Chorus sang the Lord's Prayer. The building became a reality and formal dedication was held on Saturday, November 24th, 1951 at 2 p.m. The first graduating class to complete a full year of studies in its rooms was the class of 1952. Today we celebrate 50 years of excellence at West Seneca West with the graduating classes of 1952 and 2002 celebrating the rededication of their beautiful school. The land upon which West Seneca West Senior High is built is one of great history. On this very ground were the longhouses of the Onondaga Indians, led by Chief Big Sky. 
History names five original nations of Longhouse people, Mohawks, Oneidas, Onondagas, Cayugas, and Senecas. They were the Iroquois Confederacy. The Onondagas were known as keepers of the council fire. Their covenant was symbolized by a wampum belt known as the Hiawatha belt. It expressed the heart of the Confederacy and its chain of friendship between the five nations. The Hiawatha Belt is one of the most important and valuable wampums in existence. It is a relic that has become a priceless national treasure, protected today in the Congressional Library in Washington, D.C. Once the custodian of the Hiawatha Belt lived in West Seneca. His name was ut Ahawa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that'll serve the purpose for the moment. He, has a chi he was a chief generally known as Captain Cold. His home was here in the Onondaga village that once occupied this hill. These were a tremendous time of growing for the West Seneca Central School District. The district was the second largest suburban school district in western New York. We were acquiring more land and planning new buildings to fulfill the demand. Our new school was beginning to burst at the seams. Double sessions had to be held at the Junior Senior High building until a new Junior High on Center Road opened in 1959 to alleviate the problem. Thomas Daly was named principal of the new West Seneca Senior High School, and Byron Shotton was named principal of the new junior high school. More sites here acquired, new buildings were built, and in 1973, a new wing was added to the senior high building. The district grew to over 15,000 students during the mid-70s. West Seneca Senior High was now known as West Seneca West Senior High with a sister school on the east side of town known as West Seneca East Senior High. Principals that followed Mr. Daly were James Cavanaugh, John Schleifer, our current superintendent of schools, and current principal James Bratz. Hello, my name is Mr. Jim Bratz. I'm the principal at West Seneca West Senior High School. I have been in this position for the past 11 years, 11 of the greatest years of my life. Very, very proud and pleased to have served the West Seneca Central School District and specifically the students and parents here at West Senior High School. As part of our 50th anniversary celebration, we conducted a number of activities designed to invite graduates from the class of 1952 back to their home school. One of these evening activities consisted of a tour of the building where we had members of our student council escort members of the class of 51, 52 throughout the building, examine, take a look at some of the new classrooms that we have, some of the changes that have occurred in the building over the past 50 years, including taking a tour of the new wing of the building, which obviously was not here when the class of 51, 52 began their senior year. Another aspect of our 50th celebration consisted of a Veterans Day ceremony which was enhanced due to the fact that this is the 50th anniversary of our school and also due to the unfortunate events of September 11th. It was a proud tribute to our school and its proud history when we had our entire school out in the front of the building at the flagpole celebrating the raising of the flag many veterans present from a variety a number of different branches of the armed services as well as some of our alumni from the fifties we also had members of our music department uh, perform for the entire student body as well as our honored guests uh, mister keith ersing finished the program with the singing of god bless america many of our staff address the student body and the veterans as well as our former alumni in, in a celebration of patriotism here at West Senior High School. Each soldier 
as they enter into their particular branch of the military, raises their hand and swears their allegiance and to a code of conduct. It's a long code, but I think the last four or five lines bring home the message of Veterans Day. I am an American fighting for freedom, responsible for my actions, dedicated to the principles that made my country free. I will trust in God and the United States of America. We are Americans, soldier, sailor, airman, citizen, children of this country, white, black, yellow, and red. We are Americans, a people of many faiths, holding a common belief in the brotherhood of man and the goodness of God. We are Americans. Our grandparents have crossed stormy seas to find a home in this land. Our parents have been willing to die to defend the principles of liberty and freedom. Our sons and daughters shed blood on foreign soils defending the rights of others. We have cured disease for the betterment of all mankind. We have traveled to the moon to show the heights a man can reach, and we have bravely endured the depths of awful tragedy. We are Americans. We have offered refuge to the world's poor, downtrodden, and weak. We have generously given with no expectation of return or gratitude. Of all the world's people, we know we are the most blessed. For all of this and much more, we daily thank God that we are Americans. And so, as we honor all who served, those who fought America's wars, and those who fought to keep the peace, let us remember these words of President John F. Kennedy. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Americans' veterans did not shrink from the service of their country. They do indeed deserve the love and thanks of man and woman. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home. This event was followed by a social gathering in our school library where we honored and uh, celebrated again the veterans and their contribution to our country and uh, the alumni of West Senior High School. It has been my good fortune to be on board during some very significant changes and improvements in our physical plant. For example, in the mid-90s, the voters of our school district supported a facilities and technology bond referendum which allowed us to renovate and upgrade our entire physical plant here at West Senior. We've made many changes in our building, improving it for students, improving the education for students, and improving the physical setting for students in order to receive a top-notch education. 
For example, our technology network here at West Senior and in the West Seneca Central School District is second to none. It allows our students to work with computer technology, which is nothing short of cutting edge and gives them a big competitive advantage when entering either directly into college or into the career or workforce market. On November 21st, we conducted an official rededication ceremony as we again celebrate the 50th anniversary of our school. The event was attended by our school superintendent, Mr. John Schleifer, our school board president, Mr. Dave Smazniak, also Mr. Don Mendolia, a member of the class of 1952, addressed the student body and honored guests present with his thoughts regarding the past 50 years and, and what his association with West Senior has meant to him. In September of 1951, the class of 52 began a new and exciting school year. It was with great enthusiasm that we entered this year, not really thinking about this day 50 years away. During the past 50 years, we could see the great love and dedication that the students have had for West Seneca West High School. Since that year, we have probably noted there, there have been many, many improvements made. All of our expectations were fulfilled in that year and really improved on as the years went by. Through the years, we saw our school split into two. We even lived through a couple of wars. We are always proud to recognize an alumni of this great school. It can be noted that there seems to be a continuous show of love and dedication for this school by the students, and I'm sure the class of 2002 will certainly carry on that tradition. Initially, I, I did uh, come to the school to talk to Mr. Bratz, and uh, at that time I made a remark about how different the school building has changed uh, in the last 50 years, and he recognized the fact that I was in the class of 52 and uh, wanted to uh, just have a a contact with that class because they felt the 50-year celebration was in order in the very near future. I am the chairman of the West Seneca West Alumni Association. As the chairman and as the group, we decided to rededicate this building for the excellence that has brought not only from my class of 66, but from the for the 50 years that the building has been in existence. It was. Um, uh, quite an undertaking actually because we used the Board of Education, Dolores Mandola over there, the principal of West Seneca West, Jim Bratz, and our organization to pull this all together. I've been here quite a bit over the last four or five years so you know I've noticed the changes. It's the, um, the lockers seem a lot smaller. <laughs> the, um, the dress is a lot different than when we went here. Um, the, um, you know, everything, I mean, it's, it's a lot more laid back and then when we were there, it was more regimented. Anybody who's attended West at any time is welcome to join the Alumni Association, not only the class of 2002, but um, we encourage them to so that the tradition will continue to um, continue on. This is probably the first 50th birthday party I've been to since this happened. <laughs> <laughs> I did have an opportunity to serve as the principal of this building. Uh, from 1985 to 1991, and it, it was six of the greatest years that I've spent, and, and I wanted to just share with you uh, what Wes the Senior has meant to me. I see Wes Senior as the beacon of hope on the hill, the beacon of hope on the hill on Seneca and Main Street, where people from the communities of Bellwood and South Buffalo, Gardenville, Ebenezer, the court, all have come and, get, and congregated for the purpose to, of transposing the West to best and being the best people that they could be to do their best and to always treat other people as if they were the best. So it's an honor personally to be here this morning. God bless America and God bless West Senior High School. Thank you, Mr. The size of the building in 1985 um, consisted of uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade
classes. Uh, we had approximately 1,600 students in three grade levels at that time. And uh, things changed dramatically after my first year. My first year uh, was, uh, was a pretty safe year from the standpoint of getting acclimated to the responsibilities of the principalship. And just when I thought I knew everything that it was to know about uh, being the principal of West Senior High School, we inherited two grade levels the following year. We inherited our incoming 10th grade, which we normally would have received. Plus, we picked up all the 9th graders because Allendale Junior High School closed in 1986. That meant our building population uh, went from 1,500, 1,600 to 2,100 students. So we became instantly the largest high school in western New York with some logistical problems uh, unique to the size of the population, such as uh, the new wing having to dismiss a minute before the old wing just to get kids through the corridor and from one class uh, to the next. As the, as the celebration uh, has ensued this year, the 50-year celebration, uh, I look back uh, with tremendous pride uh, on the, uh, and the very fact that I had an opportunity to spend six years as the principal of a building uh, to carry on a tradition that, uh, that uh, had, been, uh, per uh, had preceded me and uh, that has succeeded me uh, under the leadership of Jim Bratz. And uh, to this day, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll always be indebted to, uh, to the guidance and the support that I received from Jim Cavanaugh and the uh, sense of satisfaction that I've gained from watching the progress that West Senior has made under the leadership of Jim Bratz. So to be sandwiched between those people uh, was a privilege and, uh, and um, I hope I didn't let anybody down in that process. Excellence has always prevailed at West Senior High. Graduates have become successful business professionals. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, technicians, scientists, psychologists, educators, politicians, and one that we are aware of who has prepared the menus for three presidents of the United States on Air Force One. The staff and the school has received numerous national and statewide recognition and has been used as a model for many of its programs and initiatives. I am quite certain that the Board of Education, who works so hard to make this building possible, would be quite proud to see how wisely and well it has been utilized. It was and still is one of the finest and latest words in a modern school building that could be provided and one that we have reason to be very proud. Thank you for watching this segment of our schools. And congratulations to West Seneca West Senior High School for 50 years of excellence. Through the